Alright everybody. Windy afternoon. Uh, which is okay. Finley and I are gonna put some decoys out, see what we can do. The nice thing when this wind's coming over the hill, there's a bee right here. So we'll see if we can do anything. Uh, tough for Bobby though that somehow the boat blew away or the tide took it away. So it's probably down there a mile or two. So we got to keep our decoys in close, but that's okay. Uh, pretty excited about today. Uh, Finley's going to be, we're going to be overnight camping. She's never been around a campfire before, so she's going to see a lot of new things. And hopefully there's a few birds to be chased around. And my thought was that um, we will kind of include a lot of Maryland Eastern Shore, mainly goose hunting, some duck hunting. But I'll put uh, this video together with uh, two, three, four, five hunts so at least you can see kind of the, the spread of what we do out here and how enjoyable. You ready to get it, girl? You gonna come see me? Uh -huh. Okay, everybody. Uh, Maryland Goose Hunt, Veterans Day. Kind of like this one. I earned it. Uh, six years in the Navy. Oh, my. <laughs> kind of weird south wind today really strong south wind so if, if we get them we're gonna get them well but um, there aren't very many geese in here so I'm just hoping we could get maybe one small flock and have a go that way uh, Finley's ready why don't we uh, you're probably thirsty girl why don't we put some decoys out give you a drink and show people how we set up uh, with the wind coming from the south meaning Basically, from my right to left in this picture, the birds will circle. They're big birds, so they'll circle into the wind, meaning the wind is pushing that way, and they've got to land this way. So I'm going to do a horseshoe to where there's just a real sweet spot for them to set up in a nice horseshoe sort of setup. They haven't been hunted yet this year, so hopefully they're not really decoy shy, and it's just a matter of showing them a good feed. So here we go. Okay, everybody. Uh, good, good. That's uh, silhouette decoys. Let me show you what a silhouette decoy is. So, all they are cardboard. You can see how you can't see much there, right? Well, turn sideways, all of a sudden you can see them. Now, interestingly enough, as you move around, these silhouettes, they start to give the illusion of movement. Um, remember, geese have a bird brain, so they're not capable of theoretical thought, and they're not sitting around worrying about whether something is three-dimensional or not. Uh, the nice thing about these silhouettes, though, I've got, uh, I think i got 84 of them. That weighs about 30 pounds, whereas 84 full-body decoys I don't know. Anyway, one dude can't even handle 84 full-body decoys without a trailer and a trailer hitch and all the crap that comes with it. So, Finley and I set up, what, uh, 15 minutes? We're set up, uh, and we can call geese any size flocks with this, and it works pretty well because on this hill, it looks like they've got a good corn feed, and there's a lot of green in here. There's a lot of extra down corn. So the only problem we have today is it's almost 80 degrees. And when it's that warm, geese don't need to feed much. They don't need to fly much. So we're as likely as not to get a skunk in, but who knows? So we'll give it a try. Hey, Finn, we'll go put the truck away and see if we can find some birds, huh? What do you think? Hang on. What do you think, Ben? We're going to put the truck away and go find some birds? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do you think? 
Well, I don't blame you. It's worth a try, right? Okay. Well, look at you, Fin Fin. You're getting to be good at waiting. Last year, you drove me crazy. You'd be sitting in there jumping up all over me, everything else. You're getting pretty good at waiting. You know good things happen when you wait in the pit blind, right? Okay, so here's the pit. Everybody who goose hunts knows what I'm talking about. And then come up. Okay, let's do a 360. We got our silhouette decoys all around. There's the kissers. That's what Stanley calls them. Kind of like having an older couple watching the whole whole flock, right? And then uh, come around here. Yeah, everybody's feeding, pretending to feed. Whoops, you disappeared because you're a silhouette, right? And then up above. So they're in a nice horseshoe. Looking like they're having a good feed, which hopefully leads them to come in to this hole right here. The wind is from my back there, so, oh, and I hear geese. That's a good start. Okay, fingers crossed. Boy, you were Johnny on the spot. You put your goose right in here, huh? All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, you dropped your goose right in the hole. Kennel up, girl. Kennel up. Come on. Kennel up. Kennel up, up. All right, here you go. Here you go. Look at you. Put your goose right in the hole. Good dog. That's what I call a retreat. Bring it right back to the home. Good girl. We had someone over there and coming down the ridge this morning. Just seen all the deer just come running out of here. Yeah. Out of the pines. <laughs> it's a video. So, in case the boys say I'm lying, because. Yeah, that's really it's weird how in Maryland you get these so, pintails that'll that every now and then dive your goose decoy. Oh, yeah. We get I a pintail so. girl, huh? I, I Did we get a pintail? <laughs> Big bull. Unless it was next good to you. looking speculum. Yeah, that's a great bird for you, Bobby. Yeah. Awesome. You should be able to feel it. Thank you, you sir. Born, right? Got it. Pretty cool. Well, everybody, it is a beautiful Maryland day. What are you doing, Finn? What are you doing, pretty girl? Are we going goose hunting? Are we going goose hunting? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Uh, decoy's in the back of the truck, and Finley's in my ear, so it's about par for the course, right? Anyway, uh, I think my favorite part of Maryland, except for my dog kissing my ear, right? Oi, for God's sake, girl. I'm trying to drive. Um, is uh, beautiful sunny afternoons with decoys out in the goose field watching the sun go down, so... Doesn't get any better than that. All right. Are you are you chilling out now, girl? Are you chilling out? What are you doing? Anyway, uh, I'll keep you posted as we go, but uh, my spot's been pretty darn good this year, so uh, with any luck, uh, we will be coming home with uh, some goose memories. Very cool. Well, still on our way. Going goose hunting. Beautiful day. Chesapeake Bay, going to Maryland's eastern shore. Beautiful. Bay Bridge is always a great sight. Well, 
Fan Fan, what's the hardest thing for a dog in the duck blind? Uh, waiting. <laughs> That's no fun, is it, pretty girl? Uh -huh. But, for me, you got a great windy day, which is usually good for the waterfowling. Chesapeake Bay, well, tributary, Y River. Decoys. More decoys. Oh, if you can see them. Rest of the floating blind. Back to our gear. Raincoat. Wind coat. Binoculars, shells. You got your blind bag. And then you got your dog that wonders why it takes so long to get birds, huh? No, that's okay, girl. Decoy view. View from the pit, girl. Isn't that? View from the pit, girl. Just need them to fly, right? That's where all the hunters sit. Beneath the grass. Oh, she is a beauty this afternoon. Wow. There's my boss goose above the pit. You do not want to leave your bird, do you? Okay, I'm with you. Let's go. You're not going to leave your bird at the pit. You're going to come home with me, huh? Good girl. You're learning how to carry those heavy geese, aren't you? Aren't you? That's your bird. You're not going to let that bird go, are you, baby? Good girl. Good girl. All the way to the truck with you, huh? Good girl. Come on. You coming? I'm not taking your bird. Come on. Come on. Look at you, you got your bird. Well, you better be getting too heavy for you, huh? Come on. Come on. <laughs> getting too heavy for you, huh? No, you're doing good with that. Good girl, all the way to the truck. Oh, that's her prize. She's not giving that away to me. Ooh, look at her. All the way to the truck with her bird. I got you. Back to the truck we go. We did very well. Geese weren't really flying much, and then all of a sudden they flew. And then all of a sudden she got her bird. All the way to the truck she goes. <laughs> She's not playing. Again, too heavy for you, girl? Okay, almost back. Always fun carrying her bird. That is her prize. Talk about a dog with a rag doll. This dog with her goose. She wants to keep that goose. The only reason she brings it back to the pit is because she gets to hang in the pit. So she's decided that's her spot. That's good delivery. Is that good delivery? Huh? All the way? All the way? Yeah, you made it all the way. Good girl. Okay. We'll load it up. It's your bird. Yeah, I won't take it from you. I won't take it from you. Good girl. Good girl. Well, we're going to make your first uh, campfire tonight. Here. We're already getting the wood, aren't we? All right. We got the wood to start it. There's a truck overlooking the point. Finley actually likes camping. Basically, anything she can do with her dude, she's happy with. And she knows we got a goose in the back of the truck. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Is your goose in there, girl? 
Is that your goose in the back of the truck? Oh, that's all right. He's not going anywhere. All right, setting up our gear, setting up our camp for later. Find a good spot for the fire. Pretty good right here. We'll be downwind that way. If we, uh, that way, with the wind blowing that way, we'll be good, girl. And we get to hear the geese all night. Tell me that's not the best spot you could ever camp. Get to hear geese all night. One of my favorite things in the world to hear. More coming. Look at that group. They're going. See if I can get on them. That group there going straight into our decoys. Leaving our deeks out tonight. We'll get them tomorrow. Huh? That's the way we like it, isn't it, girl? All right. Setting up shortly. We'll do a after after camp setup picture. extra special night this is Finley's first campfire and uh, actually she's acclimating quite well like dogs are very comforted by a fire this is her first one so she's just learning how warm and soothing a campfire can be reminds me when I was a little boy uh, my uncle's dogs uh, Red and Pete they were so used to campfires that they would literally in the evening time, lie down next to the fire, and their fur would get so hot that you couldn't even touch their back. But you're settling in pretty girl. Uh-huh. Are you settling in? Your first campfire? She's not 100% sure what to make of that, but I think she figures if the boss likes it, I should like it too. You're doing good. Good. First campfire, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Awful nice. We got the breeze. And we can hear the geese flying over the point. And we got a beautiful fire. And it's almost bedtime, girl. So that's a good way to end the night. Well, girl. I'm kind of a proud papa today. Here we are in the pit, right? And then I'm calling it a big flock. And then all of a sudden, Finley sees a little flock, i.e. one. And you did a perfect retrieve, girl. Perfect. I didn't have to do anything. Sat in the hole and you went and got them for me. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. Look at that. Geese everywhere. See if we can get a. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get there, but this one might come. No. Got more geese coming though, girl. More geese coming. That's pretty cool. Good girl. Boy, that was a hell of a retrieve. That was a, a good 500 yarder. Good girl. Good girl, all the way. All the way, pretty, all the way. Good girl. Good girl, all the way. All the way. Good girl. Come around, up. Come around, up. Good girl. Ooh, get your bird. Don't let him get away. Come on, kennel up. Kennel up, kennel up, up. Kennel up, up. Good girl. Good girl. Well, girl, tide's out. I know you're waiting. 
look at her. That's a doggy exit from the blind. But I don't think, girl, with the tide out, that we're going to get anything, huh? <laughs> I love the loyalty of dogs. That's amazing. <laughs> There she is on her perch, waiting to see if anything's going to happen. Tide's out, girl, and I am taking the decoys in, and I'm giving a 360, because the bay always deserves a 360. But, having said that, you funny, because we're not going to get anything right now. <laughs> She'll keep that perch just in case. You never know, there could be a bird. All right, well, what do we do when we're field hunting? Well, um, you don't get a lot of exercise field hunting. So, let's grab our dummies. This is a good one, because she has to go down the hill, out there, and back, right? Okay, ready? Mark. <sighs> And then that way, do about 10 of those reps. That's really good work. And then she's tired, gets good workout, and she still gets to get her geese out of the field. Don't you, girl? Good girl. All the way. All the way. Here you come. Here you come. Up the hill. Oh, that's a lot of work, isn't it? That's a lot of work, isn't it? Come around. Always shake. Hand, hand, hand. Good. Good girl. Good. Sit. There you go. That's good work. That's good work. Ten of those, and I got a dog that won't chew my ear off the whole drive home. Huh? Huh? Good girl. Okay, everybody. Uh, another great goose hunt. Uh, Maryland's eastern shore, Canada geese. One of the ways I measure that. Uh, where's the dog that's always attacking me? Uh, well, she's kind of back there, if you can see her. But... She is uh, officially out cold, can't complain. She had uh, another overnight, her first campfire, some great retrieves. Uh, she got a 500-yard sailor today, brought it right back to me, and um, really doesn't get any better than that. So uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, can't wait till the next one, hopefully uh, next week.